Hey everyone, Iron Toast here, and this is your quick guide to using Nick Fury in Marvel's Contest of Champions. <laughs> now available in the basic crystal pools is Nick Fury. No, not that one. This one. No. Yes. No. Yes. That Nick Fury. I actually think Kabam did a great job with this character. He is excellent when it comes to synergy. His dupe comes straight out of the comic books and the movies, uh, and his damage potential is quite good. His biggest downside is fighting bleed immune champs, but that would pretty much be the same downside for most skill champs. So here are the most important things that you need to know. Number one, bleed, bleed, bleed. Fury causes guaranteed bleeds in a variety of ways. Medium attacks, heavy attacks, special twos, combo ending light attacks and even when he's auto blocked by the opponent which he's actually immune to. Best of these bleeds is actually the combo ending light attack but we'll hit that in a second. Your goal with all of these bleeds is to get 8 on the opponent. The 8th bleed will convert into an internal bleed. Internal bleed is important for three reasons. It is massive damage over time effect in and of itself, it prolongs future bleed effects, and it basically triples your special 3 damage. What I do is, especially at the beginning of the fight, is parry, medium, medium, parry, medium, medium, and then parry, medium, and heavy. It's enough to get that first internal bleed going, and you usually won't have to worry about evading specials in that first sequence. Then you can start working on your tactical charges. Speaking of which, the second thing that you need to know is how to manage your tactical charges. Tactical charges come from being hit, not recommended, or from your special one. Simply enough, Special 1 grants you 4 charges, and they decay over time. If I'm running a team without synergies, then I basically get the first internal bleed, and then spam Special 1 along with combos that end in light attacks. For most opponents, the fight will end before you stack too many tactical charges anyway. However, if you are bringing Fury to a much longer fight, you may want to consider bringing Heimdall and Angela or Hela for the permanent Fury effect. While Nick Fury has a Fury effect, the tactical charges don't time out, which means you can park them somewhere between 16 and 19 and just fire special 2s and 3s and bleed them to death. This takes 2 spots on your team of course, so really only use this tactic in a long term fight. As far as utility goes, he has a pretty interesting ability to purify debuffs. Uh, knocking down opponents will cause them to purify all non-damaging debuffs. This would be handy for matches like Void, in case you need to get rid of his pesky debuffs. If Fury has 10 or more tactical charges, you can purify damage over time debuffs too, like Bleeds, Poison, Shock, etc. Many skill champs have a debuff shrug effect, but not this on-demand type. It's very neat. So those are the most important things. You should know also that his special 3 has the potential to do some massive damage. You will want to try and fire the special 3 while the opponent has an internal bleed. As well if Nick becomes furious by cheating death with his awakened ability or by gaining 20 tactical charges, it will amplify the special 3 damage too. There are some other abilities with the tactical charges like a pseudo true strike, a double charge beam, and an unblockable buff. But if you can master these things, you will win a lot of matches before having time to even think about them. And with that, thank you for watching. Do hit that like button. It helps this video get recommended. And subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.